Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today we're going to be doing a Christmas apartment makeover. I already have my little tree in my bedroom, miniature. However, today I'm doing a full Christmas apartment transformation with a larger tree, tons of decor. I have so many fun ideas. This is my first Christmas in this apartment and I feel like this apartment just has so much potential and I am also very excited because today's video is sponsored by Dream. They launched a brand new vacuum, the T20 cordless vacuum, which I will touch on in just a couple of minutes here. We are going to be doing a really fun makeover today. I am so excited about this. I just absolutely love when the seasons change or the holiday changes and you can just kind of change up your decor a little bit. But I have some fun ideas, a couple of DIY projects as well, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. However, I have to take this sweater off, sadly, because I'm already melting in it. Los Angeles doesn't have the best winter weather. Um... I wanted to feel like a little bit cozy today, but you know, I'm just gonna have to put on a t-shirt and deal with it. So let's go ahead and jump in. I went ahead and I changed into a t-shirt. I was getting very hot. I'm literally already flushed from that freaking sweater. I wore it for like 10 minutes. But the first thing I wanna do in this space is actually share with you guys kind of the current state of it, which nothing much has changed at all. Let me just quickly share it with you guys. It pretty much looks identical to how I left it, if you guys remember from the living room makeover. And then right over here on the ground, this is all of my new decor that I picked up for this year, which I'm so excited about. Even a couple of DIY projects in there. And this is all of my old decor from the last couple of years, including the Christmas tree. Whenever I start off any makeover, whether I share it with you guys or not, I always vacuum first. And this is the brand new Dream T20 cordless vacuum. And this vacuum, you guys, is incredible. I have nothing more positive I could say about it. First of all, the first thing I want to say is it is such a chic piece of technology. It is stunning looking, which I love. Not that a vacuum needs to look pretty, but you know, it doesn't hurt. And it has so many different attachments that it comes with. There are different nozzles. There are different heads. There are different, basically, kind of brushes and nozzles and tips that allow you to do a lot of different things with this vacuum, which is incredible. Uh, the thing that I love is that you can go from marble floors to car seats to carpet to rugs to wood floors and hard to reach corners um, without having to do any form of adjustment at all. I just kind of keep it on the auto setting at all times. However, there are three different settings that you could choose from. The Dream T20 has a self-developed motor and it has a 150 air watt strong suction power, which allows it to essentially suck up almost everything. And it also has a swappable battery, which can double the runtime to 140 minutes, which is absolutely insane. The swappable battery is also more environmentally friendly, which is also great. And I cannot forget to mention that this vacuum is extremely user friendly. It has an OLED screen display that shows the working modes and the remaining battery power on the vacuum. And it also has a lock button that locks both the power and suction mode once you've released your finger. That way you don't have to like hold down the trigger the entire time, which I think is super innovative and very nice. This might be odd, but I love the way it sounds. Every time I have used this vacuum since I have gotten it, it has picked up the most amount of stuff off my floor. It is absolutely crazy. That is because it has an industry leading motor, basically that is giving you a more thorough and deeper clean than a traditional vacuum. So make sure to check out the Dream T20. I'm going to link it in the description box below because it is an incredible purchase. I just finished vacuuming and it is literally crazy how much dust can form over just like two weeks or so. We're actually pretty clean, I feel like, and vacuum pretty often. However, this vacuum just picks up a lot of stuff, which is incredible because that's what it is meant to do. And now what I'm going to do is put the Christmas tree up, which is so exciting. It is nine feet tall, which I'm so excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up because I feel like that is the base of any Christmas decor is the Christmas tree. And I want to see how it looks over here, which I think is going to look incredible. So let's set that up first. Also, before setting up the tree, I wanted to share with you guys the tree skirt, and I also picked up this this year, which is really fun. It is a wicker basket tree collar, which I'm going to put this around the base of the tree. And then I got this little hand-stitched, felted, really cute tree skirt at Anthropology a couple years back. I even have the tag on it. This is, guys, I spent all of my money, I swear to you, one year on Christmas decor, and I'm very happy I did because I've used this for years and years and years. This is probably year number, I would say, five with this and it is still so cute. So I'm very happy with this purchase, honestly. So this is gonna go over in the corner over here and the tree is going to be built upwards.
So this bin right here houses all of our Christmas decorations. And as you can see, they're just kind of laid in here. And I have a ton of red decor. This year, I think I'm going to steer a little bit away from the red because I've used the same ornament color scheme every single year since I got my tree. So I think this year I'm going to go with the black ornaments, a lot of white, and then some browns, and just kind of make it earthy and natural. Look at this little fox ornament. And then I also have a ton of ornaments from my online shop here as well. great with just ornaments but I really wanted to add something additional this year because I'm not adding a garland so I opted for these really pretty little silk bows these are so cute on the tree they add kind of a whimsy touch I think and also at the same time they add a little bit more texture and color Uh, I went ahead and added all the ornaments that I already previously owned and it's looking great so far. However, I have so many really cute ornaments from my online store this year. This is the first time LoneFox.com has ever had holiday items. Well, I've only been open this year, but these are all available on my online store, of course. Good morning guys, it is day two of this little Christmas apartment transformation and I do wanna share with you some things that I actually ended up doing last night. It's really just one thing, but yesterday you guys saw me add those really cute little ribbon bows to the tree and I ended up going back to Joann's and I got a couple more of the rolls of the white ribbon and then I also got a couple of these really pretty kind of pinkish copper toned. I just really thought that this color here added a nice warmth to the tree and I didn't want it all to be white because I kind of came to the realization yesterday, I was like, does this look like toilet paper? Paper. No, I'm just kidding. I actually really really love it and this is kind of what it looks like at the moment I think it's really cute I think styling the mantle this year was my favorite part of the entire holiday makeover. I just have never had a proper fireplace to style and this one was so fun. So I actually put up my Safavia gold mirror on top, which is just so pretty. I love the kind of detailing at the top of it. And then I intertwined a couple of pine garlands together. These are all faux. I got one of them at Target and one of them at Joann's. Then I also added a couple clusters of magnolia leaves in there because I really love that burnt orange color kind of mixed throughout with the green. And these little wood Wooden houses here are actually from the Target dollar spot. I bought like four packs of them and then I knew I wanted to layer these within kind of like the foliage on top. And the little peace banner here is so freaking cute. That's from my online store. I love that. I think the birch adds a nice touch of wood and kind of corresponds back to those houses. And then I added a couple stockings from my shop as well and that kind of finishes off this mantle styling. For our first DIY project, I grabbed a couple of white taper candles from the dollar store and I'm going to be filling up my sink with some warm water because I'm actually going to want to soak these in the warm water for about 15 minutes. So I'm dropping in a couple of candles here and I'm going to let them soak. The only other tool you're going to need for this project is an X-Acto knife. So you're going to want to hold the candle how you traditionally would in your hand with the wick coming out of the top. And I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife to kind of shave up the edge of your taper candle and create a curl of wax. What we're going to be doing is actually creating a ton of these all the way around the entire taper candle from top to bottom. And these little curls are kind of going to emulate a Christmas tree once we reach the end, which you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. But it's just a really cute way to spice up any simple taper candle. This candle here cost me 50 cents. So I'm just adding a couple of these little cuts and slices into the side. Now, of course, you're probably not going to want to burn this just because I'm not exactly sure how it would burn. And if you cut off some wax, do not worry. You can go back in and shave another section. Using the correct pressure is definitely a trial and error with these candles. But once you have it down, they end up looking super cute. And you guys kind of saw my mantle decor. It had a lot of little houses and kind of like a green foresty vibe. So I thought these little tree accents would be so cute. I'm not going to actually light them, but they're perfect little additional accents. And for 50 cents to make one of these taper candles look like a tree, like how cute is that?
I kept the couch styling pretty simple. Um, I had a lot of neutral cushions that I worked with and I added this little plaid Christmas tree one, which was really cute and also a plaid blanket, which just happened to match. I got the Christmas tree pillow last year and I got the plaid blanket this year and they worked kind of perfectly hand in hand. And then I also went ahead and just added a couple of those wooden houses that I had left over to my TV console and just a couple of other decor elements. These are all little trees from the Target dollar spot. And I just wanted to keep it simple because there's a lot going on behind the couch with the mantle and the Christmas tree. I really, really wanted to create a DIY wreath this year because I always do. However, I wanted to create it on one of these wreath bases that has like that wood, like a wicker wood base, but I couldn't find one to DIY. So I bought this one at Joann's and then I also found these cute little golden bells from Target, but I didn't like the red string that they were on. So I cut them off. This was just like a wall decor hanging piece. And I ended up just jazzing up my Joann's wreath, which I got for like 60% off by the way, which was a pretty good bargain. I just went ahead and I tied on these golden bells. I used just two of them and then I used the third one as a little decor element in my shelf styling which you'll see in just a little bit. But I tied two of these on to the top of the wreath that way they hang right in the middle. I thought the touch of gold from the bells that were already on it along with the gold bells I added was just really cute and I also love how this wreath does not scream Christmas. It just screams like pretty like pretty Christmassy. I don't yeah I don't know you guys know what I mean. When you have a bright red door, how do you not decorate it for the holiday time? I had to add a wreath to this front door. I thought it would be such a cute little compliment. And then I also wanted to swap out the doormat as well. I previously had this rainbow one that I DIY'd on my channel a while back. I'm swapping it out for this one I bought last year that says home for the holidays. And I'm also going to go ahead and just use this little three foot Christmas tree, put it right by my door. I have a little bit of space there and I got this from Joann's. I thought I was going to be able to finish today, but sadly I could not. Daylight savings really just sucks when it comes to filming because it gets dark here at around four o'clock instead of around seven. So I lose quite a few hours of filming time. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning to finish up the whole entire space. Basically all that's left is just kind of decorating the dining room slash horror movie room. I want to add a couple of little details to there just to kind of spice it up a little bit. And then I'll be able to share with you guys the full Christmas makeover, but it's looking so cute so far. I did the little door downstairs as well, or our front door area. It is a red door. So I thought it would be perfect to kind of decorate for the holiday season. And yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Now, I know it's not common to have an additional rug on hand. However, I typically have about three or four of them stocked in my Lone Fox room just for future makeovers or if I buy them and I wanna keep them and not return them. So for example, I had this one from my dining room makeover. I ended up purchasing a different one for that space, but I loved this simple white rug and figured I'd use it in the future. So I brought it into the living room for the time being just because I love the way that the white kind of complements all of the Christmas decor.
Good morning, everyone. It is day three of this makeover, and as you could already see, I basically finished up everything this morning. I went ahead and I styled the dining room just a little bit. I wanted to style those built-in shelves with a couple of decor from my online store, and then just some cutely wrapped presents and a couple of other decor pieces I've had from the past years of decorating. And I also ended up swapping out the rug, as you guys saw. I just opted for that white one that I ended up using in the dining room a while back, and then I got a different one for the dining room, and I put this one actually in my Lone Fox room, and I was like, let's swap it out for the white one. I think it would totally match the kind of Christmassy, wintry vibes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it for probably the month of December, and then back in January, I'll probably replace it back with the other one that I had. Uh, but I thought it was a fun transformation just to kind of swap out the rug. But I'm so excited to share with you guys the final clips of this space. Um, it is basically done at this point. I might do a couple more tweaks off camera. However, everything is in place. The tree is up, the mantle's decorated, and even the door downstairs, it looks so cute. So let me share it with you guys um, because I think you guys are going to love it as much as I do. my full Christmas apartment transformation. Now, I absolutely love when the seasons change or new holidays approach because it just gives me a reason to add some new decor to my home, change up the color palette just a little bit, and I just love the transformation today. A lot of the items were actually from my online store as well, which was very, very exciting for me. This is my first year having Christmas products, which was really fun. And I also wanna thank today's video sponsor, Dream, so, so much. Their T20 cordless vacuum is absolutely incredible. I have nothing bad to say about it at all. It is extremely user-friendly. It's also very chic at the same time, and it's functional. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It is all around just a incredible vacuum. Um, I really, really like it, and I will link it below for you guys in case you are curious or want to find out any more information or purchase your very own. But I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day as well. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. We have so many incredible fun videos this month and so many giveaways as well that I'm planning, which is going to be very exciting. So make sure to follow me here on YouTube and over on Instagram as well because there's going to be separate content over there. But I will catch you guys all in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, guys.